Goara has an established career in Korean dramas and films. The first thing you'll notice when you meet her is how alluring she looks. She had been known more for her looks than for her acting skills, but people have started seeing her in a new light since Reply 1994, in which she chopped off her locks and received recognition for her acting, as well as her cute charisma. Having pursued a career in acting for two decades, here are 10 facts you might not know about Goara. She originally dreamed of being an announcer. Goara was born on February 11, 1990, in Jinju, South Korea. When she was in junior high, she was recommended by a friend to audition for a talent agency. It's weird to think about Goara as anything other than an actress, but originally her dream was to be an announcer. She won Beksong Arts Awards at the age of 17. Winning a trophy at a prestigious award like the Beksong Arts Awards is not easy. Some actresses take years to win it, and some senior actresses have never brought home a trophy from the award. But Goara is the exception. She made her debut in 2003 with the drama Sharp and had her breakout hit in the 2006 drama Snowflower, which earned her the Best New Actress at the age of 17 in the 2007 Beksong Arts Awards. She was told to be a doll early in her career. Each talent agency has its own strategy for attracting fan interest in their artists. It is common knowledge that some agencies choose their own concepts and characters that must be formed by an artist. Goara once revealed how she got to be a living doll early in her career. She said in Knowing Bros, they told me to live like a doll. They told me not to talk wherever I went, like a doll. Like a doll. Always. The image was successfully carried out by Goara, as her co-star, Lee Jae-hoon in the film Phantom Detective, made such a first impression on her. Lee Jae-hoon said, she resembled a doll. I was amazed that I would be working with a doll that could act and talk. I was also upset that I didn't have enough scenes with her. She gained nearly 18 pounds for her role in Reply 1994. Her participation in Reply 1994 renewed her faith in her acting ability. She played a computer engineering student Song Na Jong, who has an easygoing personality. In an interview, the actress revealed some of the things she did to prepare for her role. She was well prepared to ruin her image by cutting her hair with a knife for a shaggy look. She went on, the director kept telling me that I had to gain weight in the beginning. The most I've gained was nearly 9 pounds, but Na Jong has a good appetite. I gained about 15 to 18 pounds as filming went on. That's why I was able to look like Na Jong. She had played the piano before being cast in Dodo Soul Soul Lala Soul. The 2020 drama Dodo Soul Soul Lala Soul tells about an energetic and cheerful pianist who lost everything she had all of a sudden, turning her lucky, rich life into rags. In a press conference for the drama, Goara said that she had practiced piano for three to four months in order to prepare for her role. She plays piano as a hobby, but she wanted to improve in order to play more impressive songs for the drama. She gained five kilograms in muscle for her role in Pacemaker. When she saw the scenario for Pacemaker, the actress was eager to do it and was determined to take on the challenge. However, it was not easy for this beauty to become the track star in the movie. Starting with a 5 kg pole, she had to increase the weight to an 8 kg one and then to a 10 kg pole. Because of the strenuous physical activity that she had to train for several times a day, she went through muscle pains and soreness. After six months, her biceps and triceps became more prominent. In order to show a more confident and strong self, she gained 5 kg in muscle for the role. She injured her ankle during filming Hechi. In March 2019, she suffered an ankle injury while filming a running scene for the drama Hechi. Her ATFL, anterior talofibular ligament, was ruptured. Despite her injury, she did the best she could to film her scenes while having to travel in a wheelchair. She isn't the first name for a lead in You're All Surrounded. She played the lead role so well in You're All Surrounded as a rookie police officer that barely made the grade but is so passionate about working for justice that she keeps on fighting. Who would have thought that she wasn't the first choice to star in the drama? Initially, Pak Min Young received the role offer. When she turned it down to do another drama, Goara joined the cast alongside Lee Seung-gi. She experienced a slump when she entered the university. Goara experienced a slump as an actress when she entered Chungang University's Department of Theater. That was when she began to reflect on herself as an actress, thinking about what she should do as an actress and what kind of actress she wants to be. She expressed, that's why I focused on my studies even more. 
I saw a lot of theatrical works and participated in them when I had time. I thought deeply about what new things I could try out, and I naturally became who I am now as a result of the time I spent having those thoughts. I'm still young, so I want to challenge myself to do many more things from now on. She relies on fate to help her meet her soulmate. In an interview while promoting her drama Huarong, the poet warrior youth, she revealed that she was ready and eager to start dating and confessed how important she feels it is to have a partner at this age. She told the Star magazine, ever since I was young, when I was in eighth grade, I lived a very different lifestyle compared to my friends. As I got used to that kind of lifestyle, people say that experiencing all kinds of emotions and situations is really important when you're an actress, but I can't really experience all of them. I want to start dating. It's time for me to meet someone. I have a lot of friends who are now married, and so I'm just waiting for fate to help me meet my person. She also revealed that if she were to meet someone new soon, she would opt for a date at a location that many couples regularly like to go to. She then added, if I do start dating, I will have to think deeply about making our relationship public.